of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. You sure the door's locked? Yeah, I've tried it about five times. I guess nobody's home, huh? That's pretty obvious. Hey, I got an idea. You could boost me up on the roof, then I could climb down through the chimney. Hi, boys. Oh, oh hi, Pop. What's this, a welcoming committee? It's more like the locked out committee. All the doors are locked. Yeah, I'm just gonna climb down through the chimney. Oh, isn't your mother home? I think she went down shopping or something. Oh, well, I've got a key here someplace. Oh, hi, Ma. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi. Oh, take hi, those Ma. packages from Mother Dave. I'm awful sorry. I'm late. I'll have lunch ready in a minute. Oh, that's okay. The door was locked, so I was going to climb down through the chimney. Yes, yes, we've all heard. I don't think that'll be necessary, Rick. I've got my key right here someplace. Oh, that's too bad. I could have been a hero. Yeah, I can see the headlines now. Extra, extra. Small boy climbs down through chimney, rescues family. <laughs> I think I'll rescue the family the usual way, if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay, Dave, you go ahead. Go ahead, Rick, after you. Well, that's okay, Pop. I'll meet you in the living room. Oh, no, you don't. You walk in through the front door the same as the rest of us. <laughs> Oh, dear, not right now. You've had plenty. You can have some more later on. You know, I was just thinking, Pa. Don't you think I ought to have a front door key of my own? Oh, David, you're too young. Well, I think it's a good idea myself. Oh, I don't know. That's quite a responsibility, having a key to the house, you know. Well, most of the guys in school have their own keys. Well, keys are awful easy things to lose. Oh, I'd be careful with it, Pa. Well, I, I know you'd be careful. At least I know you'd try to be careful. I'll bet your father gave you a key to the front door when he thought you were old enough to take care of it. Well, that was a little bit different. I had to have one. What do you mean? Well, I was going to college at the time, so naturally I needed a key when I came home on weekends. <laughs> I'll bet you had a key to the front door long before your Rutgers days. Well, I suppose so. To be honest with you, I don't exactly remember. Can I have another piece of pie now, Mom? No, dear, not right now. You're liable to explode. Well, Governor, what's the verdict? Hmm? Oh, it's a delicious lunch, Harriet. Wonderful. No, dear, I meant about a front door key for David. Well, if you think so, it's okay with me. Well, I think it's a fine idea. We've got an extra one right over here in the cabinet. Now, you realize what this means, David? Yes, sir, I think so. What does it mean? Okay, David, what does it mean? Oh, he doesn't anybody know? <laughs> if you'll be patient, I'll tell you what it means. It means that this is a very solemn occasion. We're presenting David with a key to the house. Here's the key, Your Honor. Oh, thank you. David? Shouldn't he raise his right hand? That would be necessary. David, your mother and I feel that you've reached a very important milestone in your life. A man's home is a sacred place. Here is a key to your home. Guard it well. Yes, sir. This calls for a toast. Let's all have another piece of pie. Hi, Mr. Carberry. Uh, what's new? Oh, nothing much. I was looking for you. Well, good for you. How do you like my key? Isn't it a beauty? Yeah. It's the front door key. Yeah, I figured Dave's just about old enough to have a key of his own now. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I was telling him he's getting to be a pretty big guy. It's about time he assumes some responsibilities just like an adult. Well, good for you. Yeah, I'm keeping it on the string now. I'm going to get a chain as soon as I can. Well, I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah, I sure didn't want to lose it after Pop's lecture. Well, it wasn't exactly a lecture. Oh, uh, well, not exactly a lecture. See, I was just explaining to Dave that a key is a pretty easy thing to lose if you're careless. And it's especially dangerous, too, because you never know what type of person's liable to find a door key. Well, you're absolutely right, Oz. Of course, you might occasionally misplace your key, but it's a lot different than losing it. Don't you agree with me, Oz? Well, uh, frankly, no, Thorny. Seems to me that misplacing a key and losing it are the same thing. Oh, not at all, Oz. When you lose something, you can't find it. But when you misplace something, you just don't know where it is. There's a big difference there. Oh, uh, I think you're just confusing the boy. Oh, I'm going to take good care of the key, Pop. Oh, good for you, son. Well, so long, Pop. I want to play some baseball. Bye, Mrs. Thornbury. Bye, David. So long, son. <laughs> sure a fine boy, Oz. Oh, thanks a lot, Thorny. We try and teach him what's right. Oh, you said you wanted to see me about something. Anything special? Well, it was nothing important, really, Oz. 
Mama, what was it? Well, I just wanted to borrow a screwdriver from you. Oh, that's easy. Is there anything I can help you with? No, no, it's all right. It was just one of our windows. It seems to be stuck. Oh, well, I'll give you a hand with it. Oh, well, that's okay, huh? So you certainly can climb through one of our windows by myself. What's this about climbing through a window? Okay, Oz, if you must know, I misplaced my door key. Oh, fine. Well, it can happen to anybody. Boy, oh, boy. Here, I just finished giving David a big lecture about taking care of his key, and you, an alleged full-grown man, lose yours. I didn't lose my key. I simply misplaced it. There's a big difference. We both agreed on that. <laughs> Gee, how'd I know Catherine wouldn't be home yet? I'm sure glad David didn't hear this. All right, Oz, if you don't want to loan me the screwdriver, just say so. <laughs> oh, I'll lend you the screwdriver. Well, that's mighty sporting of you, Oz, in view of the circumstances. <laughs> Come on around the front, Tony. We have a screwdriver right in our hall closet. Sure hate to have you go to all this trouble for me, Oz. Oh, don't be silly, Tony. When a man needs help, he needs help. What? Yeah, it's okay. I got the key right here. <laughs> doorbell for. Don't tell me you lost your key. Oh, of course not, Thorny. I, 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 I had it this morning. I, let's see. Well, yes, of course. I, I let Harriet and David and, and Ricky in with it this morning. And yeah, I put it right back in my coat pocket and I hung the coat in the hall closet. It's right in the pocket of the coat hanging in the hall closet. Well, I'm glad for your sake, Oz. Then it'll still be there when we get the screwdriver. Well, uh, yes. Oh, hi, Pa. Oh, oh uh, David, I thought you were out playing baseball, son. Oh, I was, but some embarrassing thing happened. I forgot my glove. Oh, well, that's okay. Gee, and after all you told me, too. Oh, that's all right, son. A thing like that can happen to anybody. Oh, uh, look, uh, would you do us a favor, please? There's a screwdriver right in the front hall closet there. Mr. Thornberry wants to borrow. Would oh, I didn't get it, it on. No, 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 uh, Thorny. Uh, you, uh, uh, you've got uh, mud on your shoes. <laughs> Will you bring out your father's coat? He has his key in it. Oh, uh, well, I can get the coat, Thorny. No, 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 Oz. You got muddy feet, too. Well, uh, Thorny. Oh, uh, <laughs> the door slammed. Now, Thorny, that's not very polite to slam a man's door in his face. You ask me, I think you don't believe the key is in my coat pocket. Well, of course I do, Oz. Now that you got the coat, you stick the key and walk right in. Oh, well, uh, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, David. A little chilly out here. Well, uh, wait a minute, son. You, you uh, closed the door, and, and, and it's locked. Oh, I'm sorry, Pop. I was going to go out and play some baseball. Well, that's okay, David. Have a good time. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, uh, have a good time, son. Gee, the boy uh, closed the door and, and, and locks it there. Well, what are you worrying about, huh? Just take the key, open the door, and go in. Well, uh, yes, yes, I will when I feel like it. It just so happens I'm going to stay out here and enjoy a little of this glorious weather for a while. <laughs> I told you when I want to go in, I'll just reach my hand in my uh, uh, coat pocket and, and uh, uh, get the key and uh, just uh, walk right in there. Uh, try the one with the handkerchief. <laughs> Thorny, uh, you have the screwdriver, haven't you? Right. Then why don't you... Uh, you, you have the screwdriver? Uh, go, uh, go right ahead. That's what you wanted. When I want to go in the house, I'll... Uh... Oz, if you want my opinion, I think you've lost the key and you're just not mad enough to admit it. Thorny, you have the screwdriver, haven't you? That's what you wanted. When I want to go in the house, I'll reach in my coat, get the key, and walk in the house. Oz, I don't think I'll need it now. I just saw Catherine pull up in the driveway. See you later, old boy. open, so I thought I'd just walk through and let you in. Uh, uh, Thorny. Yeah? I'm a man who's willing to admit when he's wrong. I lost my key.
Yes, dear? Can I have this chain for my key? Well, where'd you get that? From the stopper in the bathtub. It broke off. <laughs> well, in that case, I guess so. Well, what do we have here? Hello, dear. How do you like my new keychain, Pop? Oh, yeah, that's all right, Dave. I'm gonna hook my key on here so I won't lose it. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good idea. Keys are pretty easy things to lose. People are always losing keys. Oh, not me, boy. Oh, well, uh, no, I, I hope you don't lose your key, but if you should happen to, it's not a big calamity. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Well, I think David has the right idea. As long as we've given him a key, he's going to make sure he takes good care of it. Oh, well, yes, yes, and as I say, I hope he doesn't lose his key, but if he should happen to, let's not make a, a big thing of it. People lose keys every day in the week. Oh, people only lose keys because they're careless with them. You and I don't lose our keys because we have a place to keep them. I keep mine on that little hook for the back door. I'm going to keep mine on this chain. Where do you keep yours, Pop? Uh, well, I keep mine in my uh, pants pocket. Uh, look, you can get extra keys made for a quarter. Let's not be big cheapskates about this. Besides, it's kind of a, a silly discussion, don't you think? I agree with you. And besides, I've got my marketing to do. I think I'll go out and work on my chain. Excuse me, Pop. Uh, I think I'll... Uh, Kind of stay around the house for a while. I'll be back in about an hour. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, hi, Honest. Oh, hi. What's new? Um, no. Nothing much. Well, I don't want you to think I'm the nosy type, Oz, but what did Harriet say about your losing the key? Well, naturally, she didn't say very much about it. I mean, it's not something you get real excited about. People lose keys every day in the week. I know, but have you told her yet? You know darn well I haven't told her. How could I, Thorny, after that big speech I gave David about responsibility and, and all? Yeah, makes it pretty embarrassing. Uh, Thorny, I've just been uh, mulling over a little something. Would you consider it unethical if I borrowed Harriet's key and took it downtown to a locksmith and had a, a duplicate made. Now, I'd, I'd only be borrowing it, you see. Ah, uh, what a sneaky thing to do. Sneaky thing to Why, do. Why, of course, it'd be dreadful. However, now, if I were to take Harriet's key, that is, if I were to take it off the little... Oh, uh, off that, that board hanging there right by the door. Yeah. <laughs> off the board and look at it, and it's perfectly natural because I'm the kind of guy who likes looking at Well, everybody see. is. That's right. <laughs> Gently lay it here on the table. Yes. Then I go look in the refrigerator, you see, for something to eat. And then I go, oh, I found a coke. <laughs> Help yourself. And then I take the cap. Well, for goodness sake, Oz, what happened to the key I put on the table? Well, I, I can't imagine, a Thorny. You, you should be more careful about where you leave keys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, if you had a key, where would you leave it? Well, I'd leave it in the door. Well, I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? It's there whenever you need it. Well, yes, but a burglar could simply open the front door and walk in. Oh, I thought burglars came in through windows. <laughs> you leave a key in the door. David's key's out on the workbench. He's making a keychain. Oh, I think that's a fine idea. Where do you leave your key, Mom? Right over there on the little hook by the back door. Where about? Right there in the upper right-hand corner. Hey, that's a neat place, boy. I can't even see it. <laughs> it was right there in plain sight on... Well, for goodness sakes, what happened to my key? You think you left it in the front door? Well, no, I always leave it right there on that little hook. It isn't there now. Well, I'm positive I hung it there this morning. I know I did. At least I think I did. I wonder where it is. If your father ever finds out about this, I'll never hear the last of it. You think he lost it? Well, I didn't lose it. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, you aren't by any chance Charlie Parker, the locksmith, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, oh good. I, I kind of thought you might be. I saw you standing here. I have a key here, and I wonder whether you could make a duplicate for me. Would it take very long? Oh, an hour or so. Oh, as long as that, huh? Just kind of hoping it wouldn't take so long. I'm in a bit of a hurry. 
Well, I'm awfully sorry. Uh, normally, it would only take a couple of minutes, but I have to wait until my wife gets here. Uh, she's bringing my key to the shop. <laughs> this is very embarrassing, but I seem to have lost mine. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what happened to me. I guess it happens all the time, huh? Oh, yes, it does. Thank goodness. I'd be out of business if people didn't lose keys. Yeah, I, I, I guess you would at that. Uh, they're elusive little things. We make them just small enough so they're easy to misplace. <laughs> You know, I often suspected as much. <laughs> uh, how soon do you think your wife will be here? Oh, when I called her, she said she'd be right here. That was a couple of hours ago. <laughs> you know how wives are. All I can say is that it'll be sometime this afternoon. I I'm awfully sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. You can't help Why that. don't you give me the key now, and I'll make a duplicate of it when she gets here. Then I'll drop it off at your house. Oh, say, that that's very nice. Here you are. The name is Ozzie Nelson. It's right in the phone book. I'll just write that down, so... Uh, oh, uh, here, I'll write the name and address oh, down for you, and fine. be no mistaking it. Golly, if my wife doesn't hurry up and get here, I'm going to have to get into the shop some way. Say, Mr. Nelson. Yes? Do you know a good locksmith? <laughs> sort of uh, waiting around for you. Uh, where have you been? Oh, lots of places. No. Where have you been? Oh, uh, around? <laughs> it's kind of chilly out here. Come on, let's go in the house. Oh, uh, in, in our house here, you mean? Well, certainly. Uh, well, the, the uh, front door is locked. Well, then unlock it. You've got your key, haven't you? Oh, uh, you mean uh, my front door key? Yes, where is it? Uh, Hi, Pa. Hi, Ma. Hello, dear. Uh, say, Dave, uh, how about giving us a little demonstration of how your new key works? Let's see you unlock the, the front door with it. You mean unlock the door with my key? Uh, yeah, uh, see how fast you can do it. Uh, doesn't that sound like fun? I think I'll do it some other time, Pop. I wasn't going in the house right now. So long, Pa. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, uh, quarter after five. I wonder if his wife's gotten there yet. <laughs> Whose wife? Oh, look, dear, I may as well tell you, I can't sip to you, and besides, I'm getting cold. I came out and I accidentally locked the front door, now I can't get back in because I lost my key. You lost your key? Uh-huh. I borrowed David's to have a duplicate made. Well, no wonder the boy didn't want to try to open the door. Oh, Harriet. Now he thinks he lost his key. Oh, that's a dreadful thing to do to the poor boy. Well, he wasn't there when I borrowed it, and besides, I planned to tell him. Well, what else could I do? I knew you'd laugh at me. Well, no, of course I wouldn't laugh at you. For goodness sakes, Harriet, lots of people lose keys. Tell me about little things like that, dear. <laughs> very understanding person, same as you are. Well, you're being very considerate about this. Oh, not at all. After all, it's no crime to lose a key. I imagine a lot of very intelligent people have lost keys. Uh, did you lose your key? Well... And did you by any chance borrow mine just for a few minutes? Well... And did you take it down to a locksmith to have a duplicate made? Harriet, have you ever thought of joining the FBI? <laughs> So well, that's what happened to my key. And, and I must admit, Harriet, it's been bothering me. You know something I'm glad I confessed? Hi, Pop. Hiya, Pop. Oh, uh, say, Ricky, your mother seems to have lost her key and we were locked out of the house. Well, you lost your key, too. Uh, uh, Harriet, uh, please don't confuse the boy. <laughs> Look, son, would you do us a favor and climb in one of those upstairs windows for us? You told me never to do that, Pop. Well, yes, I know. Ordinarily, that's right, but this is sort of an emergency. You told me never to climb through a window, no matter what. Y yes, I will. Okay, forget what I said. Will you climb through one of those upstairs windows for us? I climbed through a window for Mr. Thornberry once, and he gave me a quarter. Okay, I'll give you 50 cents. Okay, I'll get my sneakers. Well, aren't they inside the house? Yes, ma'am. I'll go get them. Hey! Ricky! Ricky! What's the matter, Pa? Well, you took out a key and, and opened the door with it. Where'd you get that? Well, I found it. You found the key where? In the front door. Let me see that. For goodness sakes, this is my key. 
I must have left it in the front door when I let us all in this morning. I don't think it's your key, Pop. Oh, sure it is. I thought you went to Rutgers College. Well, yes, I did. Well, look at this key. It says Yale. <laughs> hi, Pop. Hi, Mom. Oh, Hello, hi, dear. Dave. You got the time, Mom? Uh, yes, it's almost 5.30. Oh, say, we'd better get in the house and have dinner. Gee, I wonder if that guy's wife has gotten there yet. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Well, hello, Mr. Nelson. Do you remember me? Oh, sure, of course, Mr. <laughs> uh, uh, Parker, the locksmith. <laughs> That's right. I have quite a delivery to make. Oh, fine. <laughs> Let's see here now. Uh, there are your keys. Thank you. There are Mrs. Nelson's keys. Yes. And one key for David Nelson and one key for Ricky Nelson. Uh, Ricky? Uh, yes, that's what he wanted as a reward. Oh, fine boy. Uh, uh, what's this about a reward? Well, uh, my wife couldn't find the key to the shop, so little Ricky climbed through the window for me. <laughs> <laughs>